Hello everyone and welcome back. In the last video where we left off by saying how to connect your Remix ID to your GitHub, I've seen many of, many of you are facing some errors like 403 error that's coming up. That probably I feel is due to the changes in IDE, but nothing to worry about. We'll do it again with from the scratch. So first of first, let's get dgit, right? So I feel when you go to plugin manager, you'll find a thing. You can just search it dgit. I've already activated it. So you can go ahead and get dgit and activate it. Once done, then you have to head towards settings. In settings, you'll scroll down to GitHub credentials where you'll be asked for a GitHub token, a username and your email ID, right? So let me just go ahead to my GitHub profile and get the token. So this is my GitHub profile. This is the settings part. So if you want to go to settings, just click on here and go to settings and you'll, you'll be on this page. Scroll down to developer settings, then to personal access token. So let's generate a new token uh, and say it's a remix test. Expiration is 30 days. You can select upon yourselves and I'll just go ahead and take some of these packages maybe all just doesn't matter so select all of these and once done just generate a token So I've copied the token and now I am heading back to my Remix ID. Here, let's just paste the token. Username is, that's my username, you have to add yours and my email ID. And just hit save. So my GitHub credentials are updated, right? So let's get back to DGIT where what we have to do is we have to go to DGIT then under clone, you have to go scroll down to Git remote. Here you want to just add your name or maybe some other name that you'd like and the URL. So URL here is a new repository that will be created on GitHub. So head back to GitHub. Let's go to like the home page. Here I'll be creating a new repository. So I just name it like test underscore remix or something like it's a public I'll add a readme file as well and create a repository just like that right once done head to the original repository front home page so this is the home page right I'll just go ahead and copy the link of this page and head back to Remix ID. Here I'll just paste the URL and add remote. So you can see my remote has been added. Now since I have a remote available, let me just select this one, right? So you can add more remotes, you can delete some of the remotes if you like to, if you want to change the repository or something. So first thing first, there are three steps to add anything to GitHub through CLI or if you're going through Remix. First thing is you init. So you just click on init under commands. So I have local branch that is main, remote branch that is also main and you click on init. 
so the github repository will be initialized right now head up towards source control and you will get a message box so here let's try it it's a test message and git commit so you have committed that right now there are lot many files that remix id provides you by default they are like example files right so i don't have any file created as of now with me so i'm just going ahead with this uh, say let's take three ballot dot soul that is the solidity file so i have taken this file and it's been added to the contracts right so i have just added this file i just click on git commit again right my file has been committed so that's the second step first was in it second is commit and the third is to push so usually usually when you have to push something usually this this push button and the commands works well but if it's not working due to something just used force push select this one and click on push it will take some time because the file have taken is a quite big so it says it's pushed right now let's head back to github to see if we have something over there or not so we are in github now let me just refresh it so you can see i have contracts test message one that i committed before and i have tests that is test one palette underscore test file dot soul is here so this works Ta -da! i hope this tutorial was interesting and it gives you some openness to how you can connect solidity remix id to github and transfer your files from remix id and showcase them on your github so if you still have some doubts do reach out to us in the comments and we'll get back to you with all your query solution. Thank you so much for staying with me and have a good day. Thank you.